Today, we are introducing the Light Ocala battery charger, model Li M4S. I already have several chargers, like this old Technoline BC700, but it can only charge AA batteries. Then there's Yoni-I, which charges all common battery types but lacks a USB-C connection and charges only one battery at a time. Next is Nightcore, which charges all battery types but has an outdated micro-USB connection. However, I acquired the Light Ocala because it has a feature I need, it is battery capacity testing. It features four independent charging channels and also includes a USB-C connection. The device charges all common battery types, lithium-ion, nickel metal hydride, and apparently even obsolete nickel-cadmium batteries. The device requires a 2-amp USB power source. It charges two batteries at 1000 milliamps and multiple batteries at 500 milliamps. It can discharge a battery at either 250 or 500 milliamps. It can be used as a power bank too. Let's explore the device's usage with lithium-ion batteries. Connect the device using the USB-C connector to the power source, like a phone charger. The device activates when you insert a rechargeable battery. The device starts in charge mode. The charging current is a maximum of 1000 milliamps or 500 milliamps if there are more than two batteries. It charges until the battery voltage reaches 4.2 volts. The next mode is discharge. In this mode, the device discharges the battery and measures capacity until the battery is empty, around 2.8 volts. The test mode charges the battery, discharges it, measures capacity, charges it again, and measures the charged capacity. This mode is useful for battery pack builders. Then there's the storage mode. This mode discharges or charges the battery until the voltage reaches 3.7 volts, depending on the battery's initial voltage. Also useful for battery pack builders. Holding down the current button can turn the backlight on or off. Holding it down until the screen flashes dark keeps the display on. Initially, it may seem that this button doesn't work correctly, but by trial and error, you'll understand its function. If no button is pressed within 8 seconds, the screen flashing stops, and the settings lock. Unlocking is easy by holding down the mode button, and current and mode can be changed again. So, Light Ocala can charge different types of batteries simultaneously. I'll put a 18,650 battery into this charger first. Then, I'll insert a 21,700 lithium-ion battery without protection circuit. In the next slot, I'll place an AA nickel metal hydride battery, and in the last slot, a AAA sized battery. Each of these can be individually adjusted for mode, whether to charge or discharge, and also the current. Note that the maximum current is 500 milliamps when there are more than two batteries. Adjusting may seem complex in the video, but it's straightforward when you get to try it yourself. It's hard to keep your hands off this device since you can truly adjust each battery individually, even in the middle of charging. I hope this review was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.